and welcome to another GCSE revision video and in this video we're looking at the AQA GCSE 8300 series. This is the second paper in the higher tier. Uh, it's the November 2017 past papers. It is a calculator paper so we are allowed to use calculators. And we're picking up in question 9 which reads work out the size of angle X. Okay, so we've got a right angle triangle. Um, the angle is um, x and the angle opposite x is 3 centimetres and the angle adjacent to x is 7 centimetres. Uh, so hopefully we remember that opposite over adjacent is equal to tan x or tan theta. Okay, so that means that um, tan x is equal to uh, opposite, which is 3, divided by 7. Okay, so what um, we need to do now is to get our calculator. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why it's so important to use your own calculator in an exam, not a borrowed one, because you need to know where all your buttons are and what they do. Now, the most important thing is to make sure your calculator is set to degrees. It might say degrees, it might say deg, or it might say d. Uh, the alternative is rad or radians or r or gradient uh, grad or g. So we want it set to d or dig or degrees. Uh, if you get that wrong, you will get the wrong answer. So we want to get our ratios at 3 over 7. Uh, so it's 3 divided by 7. And then you need to look for your tan to the negative 1 or arc tan button. Uh, on my calculator, I need to press this up arrow and then I get this tan raised to the power of negative 1, which is the inverse tan or arc tan. And I get 23.2, shall I say? Uh, so let's say 23.2 degrees. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.